something a lot of traders do that um, really makes them lose profits in the long run is that they like to try and think that they uh, they're able to predict you know where price will go exactly. And while we can never know exactly where price will go or when it'll go there, we can get to a pretty high probability of where price will correct to or where price will move to at the next level. Um, a lot of this falls under market market, psycho market psychology. Sorry, I can't talk. And uh, it's interesting to think that when price is uh, going up, everyone thinks that it's going to come down. And while price is going down, everyone keeps thinking, all right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reverse, it's going to turn up. And it seems to be right when everyone turns to agree, you know what, price is actually going to go down, that's when price reverses up. And right when everyone starts to say, you know what, price is going to go up, that's when price tends to go down. Um, and the market psychology is pretty simple behind this, right? Because what you have, let's take a look at the last bull market. This is a two week chart. So essentially what you have is you have people that are either taking profits or uh, probably more likely thinking that they're predicting the top. And this has happened several times throughout the last bull market. <clears throat> you could start over here with this pump. This was a, a big 80, 85% pump. And we ended up correcting for about 40 to 50 days. But the price corrected down 37%, almost 40%, and then kind of stagnated for like uh, about four months. Uh, and it didn't come back to this high for another half year. And then we actually had another pop and then another two weeks where price spiked up and then ended up dropping down 33% again. And then we spent two, four, six, uh, another two months going up, followed by a spike down for the next two weeks, going about 30, 30%. Uh, then we had a very strong run up and we ended up seeing another spike down and then we had another strong run up with another strong spike down and then our final run with our final big drop 70% drop led us into a, a multi-year bear market essentially. And the reason I'm pointing this out and looking at the past uh, history of Bitcoin is you can get a lot from the psychology of the market, right? And if you try and just put yourself in that in, in that position right now, if you try and look back here and say, okay, what do you think people were talking about at this specific point in time? Right around here. I'm sure just about everybody was talking about Bitcoin is uh, in another fake out. We're crashing down. It has been uh, two months now of downwards action. This is the beginning of the bear market. We were not able to come up and set a higher high. It's all doomed for Bitcoin. And um, <clears throat> these people tried to call the top, let's call this, you know, they try to call the top once here. You could say twice here, three times. Keep in mind, these are two-week candles, so this is a quite a good period of time. So one, two, three, four times, five times, and after six times, they finally called the top, right? And um, if you ask me, you had a lot more opportunities to continue to go along here and continue to follow the trend. Um, than you did having trying to call the top. You could have tried to call the top six times and you would have only been right one out of six times, which is terrible. Um, it's it's frankly terrible odds to have in, in your favor when you're trying to be a trader. Whereas if you had just traded with the trend, you know, we're in an uptrend, uh, we have general price consensus moving up, we already had our long-term downtrend, we can expect a year or two of uptrend and you would have had plenty of opportunities to um, maybe sell, take some profit, and then when price crashes 20, 25, 30, 40%, you can buy back in. And you can con continue to do that over and over again until it doesn't work. In which case, if it doesn't work, then you start to look at the uh, flip side, which is the, um, the bearish side. So now we could take a look over here and say, okay, let's apply that to what we know now. It seems as though everyone and their mom wanted to call this the Bitcoin top, the top of the bull market and saying we're going to extend into a, a year-long bear market where price is going to come all the way down to 25k and essentially what people are trying to do is what they did before they're trying to call the top and as we know from previous history that's not very accurate and it's not a good way to trade right trying to call the top whereas if we just take some kind of indicator maybe a momentum indicator and we go maybe down to the weekly and we say okay well if we look at this previous run um, so long as this uh, this price was above this green cloud on the weekly, uh, we looked pretty good, right? We had a, <clears throat> a very strong uptrend. And if we look at and apply that to what we have now, and we use the green cloud to determine our trend, right? Once we dip into the green cloud and below it, we could start turning bearish. Um, we look at this and we say, you know what? 
we still have a lot of upwards momentum, right? And it's pretty obvious when you look at the fact that Bitcoin has spent, uh, and it took a matter of uh, 20 weeks. I mean, you can, what depends where you want to draw the top, we can draw the top of this wick. But we overall went up about 450 to 500% in the course of about half a year, right? About half a year, we went up four or 500%. Now that's a, uh, it's quite a run, so you can expect quite a cool off here, right? And you that's something just to expect when the price runs up like this. It's pretty much a straight shot up, and uh, it's going to be pretty quick straight shot down. Uh, and it's it's worthy to note that we have not entered into any kind of true bearish territory, right? Um, back here, the trend was still actually intact all the way. I mean, if, if you wanted to use the 20 uh, moving average, you could have used that. To determine uh, the beginning of the bear market, um, however, you did have fake outs like this wick back here. You had some other, uh, you know, very strong crashes down, which would have been scary during the time. Um, and it wasn't until we like fully broke through this green cloud that it was really apparent that this price was going to go lower, and that this was going to be uh, <clears throat> another about a year or so before we see any kind of upwards price action. Right now, we don't have that. Ultimately, what we're looking at right now is uh, we're essentially right here. We've gotten a bounce off of the green cloud and we're moving up now. And until we you know, come down and go below the green cloud, which is currently sitting at the top here, about $34,000, uh, $33,000, while we're up here, while we're going up, we, we should just expect price to continue. And I see people saying, well, you know, back here, we just bounced off the cloud, which is the, this is the 50 moving average. We bounced off the 50 moving average, use the 20 as resistance, and then just continue to dump lower. And I say, that's great. Because in, this, in the bull market in 2017 and 2016, we had great respect for this moving average. We corrected to it several times. And uh, it's also worthy to note that this bull market lasted uh, 800 days. This bull market that we're in right now, if you count it from over here, it's been uh, half that time, right? So just kind of ask yourselves, where are we in this trend? Have we seen a blow off top in Bitcoin where price just completely explodes and um, ultimately uh, just has a blow off top and then a big correction down? Well, we kind of had a blow off top. It was more just like a straight shot, right? It wasn't like the price was correcting, 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 and then blew off. It was more like price just had a straight shot to 60K Right, pretty much you could draw a straight line here, and then it spent about two, three months just kind of floating in this area, si uh, sideways consolidation, trading in a range for about two months, and then we had a correction down, and now we're coming back up in price. Right, does that look like how a bear, uh, bull market ends, where you have a, a two month long period of consolidation? Not really. Typically, you see straight shot, and immediately once you hit the top. You hit your blow off top and price comes crashing back down over the next month or two. We came up and over the next month or two, we went sideways, even setting a higher high over here with this wick hitting 64K, almost 65K, right? So you have to ask yourself, have we seen price blow off and then have a big correction down over the next 60 days? No, we saw price go up, like I said, and we spent about 70, 80 days going sideways. So almost three months here, and then we corrected down which means we didn't have people sell. And if you look at the on-chain metrics, you can see that the majority of people that sold Bitcoin on these two-week dumps um, were people that, have, that were holding Bitcoin for less than a year. So the hodlers are still hodling. The holders are still holding. Uh, and the market psychology is always going to be the same. People are always going to try and call tops and they're always going to try and call bottoms in bull markets. And most often, than, more often than not, you're going to be wrong. So just go with the flow trust the indicators and ultimately we can't really use the 20 for this bull market because we haven't ever corrected to it we never corrected to the 20 whereas back here we corrected to the 20 moving average several times so obviously when we come below it we're going to still correct back to it and we're going to use it as resistance because it's a respected indicator in the space it right now is not a respected indicator we did not correct to it a single time right so um, the people that are saying we're definitely going to get a rejection here it's possible but it's also very unlikely because we have not respected it at all for the last six months to a year. That's all I got for you guys today. Drop any questions or comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you next time. Peace.